Here we studied a really untapped class of um, material for in the battery domain. This, this is um, tin halide based perovskite materials as a solid electrolyte material for all solid state batteries to be precise as a anionic conductors. So this was the study we did here. Uh, we have uh, performed at room temperature experiments uh, to know the conductivity behavior of um, halide perovskite material named as cesium tin indium chloride. So here basically this is cesium tin chloride is a base material and we substitute partially indium in the B side. Uh, Along with that, we performed several electrochemical measurements to understand the conductivity behavior and then complementary uh, techniques like NMR, EPR and DFT measurements were performed to understand the mechanism, uh, diffusion uh, mechanism of uh, in the material. Yeah. Uh, in addition, we also did um, uh, compatibility of this material with different metal anodes uh, like uh, lithium, lithium, indium alloy, magnesium and calcium. Along with that, finally, we also performed the air stability and air processability test of this material. Uh, so, finding a air stable material, uh, solid electrode material was a challenge, uh, first point. Second, uh, we have a very metastable material in this case which is cesium tin chloride which tend to always uh, transfer into a very insulating phase that is monoclinic phase. So stabilizing this into cubic phase was a challenge and uh, in this study we addressed this part. Uh, third point, uh, third challenge was that achieving a room temperature chloride ion conductor or anionic conductor was a challenge because at, at the moment there were no uh, very benchmarking material which we could use as a anionic solid uh, conductor at room temperature. This was second. Uh, third and the fourth challenge was uh, is that um, uh, in anionic batteries solubility of the um, cathode materials is a big challenge in order to overcome inventing a new solid state electrolyte would, uh, was required and this is also addressed in the study okay uh, first uh, finding is that we uh, stabilize the cubic phase uh, this is cesium tin chloride by substituting indium in the B site. This is the first finding structural, as a structural aspect. Second finding is that uh, we also understood by DFT and other uh, techniques that this has a, a flexible structure which means in the B site as tin and indium they undergo uh, inner transitions or transformations uh, during the chloride ion diffusion which means the stress generated during the conduction was compensated by this uh, flexible nature of tin indium octahedra this was the uh, second uh, finding and then most importantly the faster ionic conductivity of this material uh, at room temperature this is uh, this is required to use this material as a room temperature solid electrolyte further we also uh, understood that the understood or investigated um, anode side compatibility of the solid electrolyte for example uh, as i mentioned in the uh, before there are four different malleable uh, natured uh, metals like lithium lithium indium magnesium and calcium we understood uh, the nature of uh, the reactivity how, whether the solid electrolyte is stable with these anodes or uh, are they forming um, you know, favoring uh, interface or electronically conducting or mixed ion conducting interface. So these were the uh, findings we have um, investigated. Uh, we have investigated these things uh, in this study. Um, 
come in general this is a very important aspect for a solid electrolyte to be air stable this is because uh, this reduces significantly the cost of uh, battery production in the reality also minimizes the complex uh, processable techniques um, and would enhance or uh, promote usage of the uh, dry coating methods uh, or other novel techniques so essentially this minimizes the cost of the production and therefore uh, having a air stable material is important secondarily air processability is most important again because in case the material undergoes a slight change when it is uh, in air if we can bring back the original structure just by treating in air for two hours at normal drying temperatures like 140 C4 then this is a very big advantage uh, normally uh, the halide based lithium ion conductors are uh, will always undergo uh, reactions which are not necessary and they decompose even if we heat again or we cannot process them back so this is one of the advantage with this uh, cesium tin indium, indium chloride uh, perovskite uh, halide material uh, that we can bring back the material even if it is exposed in the air material is air stable at until 50 percent of relative humidity afterwards it will under uh, go transformation into a monoclinic phase but then if we heat it again at 140c for two hours we have back the cubic phase and this is a conductive phase without compromises in the ionic conductivity yes we used four uh, anodes and then we performed electrochemical studies like um, um, time uh, monitoring impedance spectroscopy and then cyclic voltammetry with this metal anodes and then a cathode uh, vanadium halide based cathode material so uh, we observed different trends of uh, temporal evolution uh, of the res in, uh, resistance uh, features for example uh, in all the cases we had uh, waiting time of 0 to 10 hours and we had seen increase in the impedance at the interface this means that interfacial reactions are happening and then material or the electrolyte and the anode anodes are reacting each other uh, in the case of calcium the reactivity or uh, uh, of course the impedance is high uh, in the case of calcium because this is a hard metal also in the magnesium case in comparison to lithium and lithium indium however uh, when we measured or performed the xps x-ray x-ray photoelectron spectroscopy on the interfacial uh, part of the cell we observed that there was no reduction of uh, electrolyte components on the calcium uh, anode side whereas in the case of lithium and indium we observed the uh, reduction of tin to metallic tin which means that there could be a formation of lithium or tin alloy while in the case of magnesium we observed uh, tin and uh, indium reduction to metallic state this means electrolyte is not very stable with this uh, in the lithium lithium indium and magnesium uh, metal anodes so uh, this is an instance of rare where different metals were studied for one solid electrolyte to understand the nature of uh, uh, interface formation in uh, with respect to the metals the main difference uh, main reason for the difference uh, references could be that the malleability nature of the four metals are different so mechanical and chemical properties of the four anodes are different so with with respect to the reduction stability of the metals or the solid electrolyte the reactions were different uh, and so we observed reduction of electrolyte components differently in different anodes so this is the reason
In general, in all, all solid state batteries, there are uh, plenty of literature or the work has been done in the cationic shuttle uh, systems, say lithium and sodium, uh, while there are very few or very limited knowledge on anionic conducting solid electrolytes. So this work explored in detail for the first time a anionic conductor um, and this was necessary because we use uh, plenty of materials uh, which are halide based and uh, we have anions in the solid cationic conductors as well. But the question unaddressed is that are they purely cationic or will there be some anionic conduction which could be generated by anions in it. So a equal proportion of work on anionic side is necessary and we hope that this work instigate or uh, encourage people to do more work on also on the anionic side and uh, see how anions are also important or uh, how they how they are under uh, investigated so we hope that more studies will come uh, my future plan is that to use this material uh, and with the different cathode materials coupled with the different electrode materials and also anodes, anode materials and check the feasibility of those electrode materials with the solid electrolytes. So this is very normal that most of the solid electrolytes are reactive with the cathode material so a fine coating of or protective layer is necessary. So uh, we would uh, now work on optimizing the cathode side especially uh, bringing the optimum ionic and per, uh, electronic percolation in the cathode side with the uh, yeah, testing different electrode materials. Along with that, anode side reactivity is obvious as uh, we see already. So we would like to do more intensive work on the anode side in order to uh, nullify the anodic uh, side reactions and then form a very um, uh, high capacity um, also all state battery in the based on the anionic shuttle so this is our future plan